Hi, kids. Uh, first of all, uh, great to see you both again. Um, you know, Beautiful Disaster was such a fun, fun film. And now a, a sequel, a Beautiful Wedding. Um, tell, tell me about what's going on in this one. Well, um, Travis and Abby uh, are very drunk and they get married and they wake up in like a bit of a hangover situation. They're like, oh my God, what happened last night? Um, and then they get a scary phone call from a bad guy and have to um, flee to Mexico to hide from him. And then in Mexico, they have a crazy honeymoon and bachelor and bachelorette parties and um, just chaos ensues. Boy, you're good at that. Nailed it. <laughs> Torn out of today's headlines, I tell you. Yeah. Nailed it. The elevator pitch. Uh, Virginia, in, 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 do you enjoy uh, going back to Abby and, and, and uh, revisiting her? Yeah, she's a great character. Um, you know, every character that I've ever played, I, I always have a spot in my heart for them. And is, Abby is, is no different to that. So um, she's so passionate and funny and um, strong. And uh, yeah, it's always a blast going back to Abby. And Dylan, uh, you and Virginia, uh, you know, have a, have a dear friendship. Uh, it, that helps out in all of this, doesn't it? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think that's the core of chemistry in general is that you actually have to like the person that you're acting alongside of. And I'm blessed to say not only with Virginia, but also all of our cast and crew yeah. we were really close to from the first movie as well. So um, I think this was part of the reason we are so excited to come back to the second one. Uh, Dylan, is there any hesitation on your part to do a sequel? I mean, uh, it, it has to be good, I would imagine. I mean, I think that there's always hesitation to do sequels as an actor in general, just because you want to see the product and you want to see um, the script and and where the character goes. And but I think that's like part of part of acting is that. Number one, for me, what's most important is always working with people that I love and being on a good set because that's so much of your experience, which I knew is already going to be a sign off for me. Um, and also the progression of the character, which I think like Travis learns a lot in this movie. And I think he's coming away with a different perspective. And I think that that was important for me. So uh, Virginia, in being number one, number two on the call sheet, I mean, is it do you enjoy the responsibility of, of, of setting the, the pace for the, for the set, for the, for the production? Um, you know, I think that it's, it's such a, um, a group effort and such a collaborative art form that like, you know, no matter what number you are on the call sheet, like, I think it's your responsibility to bring good energy and be collaborative and from, um, you know, the below the line crew people as well. I just think it's important to just like be collaborative. So no matter where you fall on the call sheet, I just think it's, it's a fun part of what we do to just show up with good energy and good vibes and, you know, treat people how you would like to be treated. Uh, and, and following up on, on what Dylan said, I mean, there's a, certainly a, a need for screwball comedies again. And, and, uh, Virginia, I mean, are you are you delighted to do comedy? Is it something that you're passionate about? Um, it really scares me. I I'm all very out of my comfort zone in comedy. I much prefer crying to yeah. like trying to make someone laugh. I think that's much harder. Um, but uh, what about but, cry laughing? Oh, that's even harder. Hey. <laughs> Um, but we had so much fun and uh, definitely when you're working with a director like Roger, who has such a great comedic sensibility and Dylan as well, our whole cast, um, we, we had so much fun. Comedy is definitely really fun to make. Dylan, uh, will you be hopping behind the camera more and more, maybe directing and, and doing more producing? Oh, well, uh, I don't know about directing. I, you know, it's funny. I've been asked this a few times, but, uh, my thought process on directing is this. Uh, there are a million people I know even personally who really want to direct and who I know would be better at doing it than I would be because of the sheer merit that they really want it. <laughs> I might have like on set experience, but working with directors for so long, I don't think acting and directing is comparable. I think people like to compare those two, but I think that's oftentimes a mistake. Producing, I would like to do more of, I would, uh, you know, I have this movie coming out this year called The Duel. That was my first time executive producing. Um, and I'd love to do more of that. Um, and that's really just not because I like producing, but I also just love supporting projects that I know my family and friends are making through their own visions who I trust and admire. And so that, that is really that side of it. But directing, I don't know, man. 
What Seems about tough. you, Virginia, stepping behind the camera? Um, I, I've produced and I love producing. I definitely want to be a part of making projects from the ground up, whether or not I star in them. I just like that process. Um, but I completely agree with you. I think often people are just like, I want to direct and like take a job away from someone that like desperately wants to be a director yeah. and would have a better vision than I would have. I'd love to facilitate a great director by producing a project with them. But um, I don't think I would I would be a director myself. I also think so much of like what you do on set with a director is like their directing style as well. So yeah. you can have a lot of impact and say as an actor. Yeah with your director as well, so I don't, yeah. Virginia, what do you think audiences are gonna take away from watching Beautiful Wedding? You know, I hope they have so much fun and they laugh a lot, and I just think it's a fun, silly movie that feels of an older age to me, and um, I hope it's the return of, of screwball comedies and people really love the film. And Dylan, same question. Uh, I like the perspective that Travis and Abby are definitely not perfect uh, rubrics by which you expect, you know, romantic leads to be. They're kind of grungy, they're kind of dirty, they're a little trashy. Um, and uh, I like that even despite all those, they really love each other very deeply and they're working towards making something work. And I think that's a realistic, cool take. So I hope people walk away feeling like that, that, that was well I hear. I hear that the, the third film in this series will be on top of a tower <laughs> different movie <laughs> yeah there you go uh it's a pleasure to catch up with you guys again thank you so much for your time and okay Likewise. congratulations on beautiful wedding i i thought it was just so much fun thank you thank you very much you guys take care bye